Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another Get Ready With Me. And today, well, for the most part, we're doing all of my new Dior beauty items that I either purchased from Sephora or, uh, I don't know, I, some of the stuff I purchased like a couple months ago. So anyway, if you just wanna hang out and get ready, keep watching this video, let me know what you think, and if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with those that feel the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. We'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you? I'm in a good mood. Yesterday, we watched the eclipse. I did have a video go up, and um, maybe I'll put a couple pictures up, but we went to my mom's and we had a late lunch, and it was a really great time. And I'm all about just creating those special memories for myself and the boys, but for myself too, you know? We, gotta, we put our kids first, but we can't forget about ourselves. And I love stuff like that so that really really made my day and i know i talked to a lot of you and you were not in the um the pathway for it but uh, my friend dr mo she said that there's going to be one in spain in 2026 so we don't really have to wait 20 years i'm trying to go to spain like anyway oh my gosh <laughs> Well, first, let me know how you're doing in the comment section or the chat. I'm going to put up this meme. It's like my theme. Let me find it. <laughs> it makes me so happy every time I read it. Oh, yes. Another day where I've not received a text telling me to pack my bags as we're off to the Maldives. Sick of this. Today, I didn't get the text today, y'all. So I don't know what to say. Um, let me know if you get it. Let me get my uh, ears. All right, so today I am playing with Dior makeup. Um, I'm gonna just start getting ready because I need to start with my color corrector, which is not Dior. I don't even know if they make a color corrector. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I, I don't really have any notes, product information. I, I have nothing. I have nothing but talking right now. What's on my face is my, uh, my usual moisturizer, my Glow Recipe Plump Plump, my Fenty Flash Snap, and then my... Uh, Kiehl's sunscreen serum. I use my Ami Cole brow gel, which. Okay, well, clean. It's really full. Okay, well, you can clean up. He didn't even put his tooth under the pillow for me. Yeah. Do you know what you did with your tooth, by the way? Because the tooth fairy didn't come. You put it in the house. I'm in Cole brow gel, I'm waiting on my Patrick tie. I didn't touch it at all. It was in my sunglasses little case bag. We'll so find it tonight. You didn't move it. No, I did not. I gave you. No, I did not move it. Yeah, Patrick tie will be here Thursday. And I can't wait because this brow gel is not giving me what I need. It's not doing what needs to be done for me. That's the uh, Huda, and if you uh, saw yesterday's video, I'm getting ready the same way. Just give me a little of that, and a little right there. So today's a regular day at work. But you know what? I am blessed. I am blessed to have a regular day. Hourglass veil on my sponge. It's my Cali rays running low. Blessed to have a regular day. I'm not even going to complain. We're off tomorrow. Oh my gosh, so I told y'all I was taking August to get that asthma shot, the Nucala. So I went, we went yesterday, and first of all, I went to Sephora because I took back that Rosie Jane perfume. What time is it? Because now, see, this is gonna be a long video. I'm not long, but you know, I'm shocking, shopping. I took back the Rosie, by Rosie Jane perfume. It's not that it didn't smell good, because it did, that reminds me, I need to bring my coconut sun sample for one of my co-workers today from Seven Virtues. Now, where is that? See, that's what I'm talking about. I just can't find it. nothing. I'm gonna try to find it before I leave. The whole thing with the Rosie Jane was, it was supposed to be like pineapple, coconut, and vanilla, and it just smelled like straight coconut. And I like the way coconut smells, but it was just, it was just too strong. And then I got tired of smelling like it, unfortunately. So I just had to um, go ahead and take it back. And I didn't get anything. I wanted to get this, and then August was with me, so they didn't have any of the mediums out, so I tried to go in the drawer. 
but I didn't see any and then August was like that's for employees only but they didn't have any so the concealer this is the Dior forever let me tell you the Dior forever skin correct now this is the old formulation because and I should have learned my lesson but at not last the for sale the one before that I bought a backup and then they changed the formulation to the new one and I have a backup of that too and then Natasha Denona came out and that's all she wrote so I'm gonna be using this this is for in and for concealer I probably you know we'll go a bit lighter but we're gonna go ahead with this probably gonna do this just all over the face to be honest um, we'll see because see that's my skin tone so I really like this one for if I'm not wearing foundation that, that's how I like it. Oh, shoot. You know what I was supposed to do? I was not supposed to do this first, but that's okay because I have a new Dior product to try out. I didn't mean to put this on first. I meant to put something else on first, but that's okay. It will still work it out. So that's four in, and that would be my um, shade in the uh, foundation. I don't have Dior foundation. So we're going to use something else by Dior, and we're going to see how it looks, I guess without foundation on top. I have the Glow Star filter. And I had shade three, but I'm gonna sell it because it was like when I bought the, um, what was that one by Auric? I have two shades. One, the lighter shade looks better under something because it's lighter. And then the deeper shade, so I have Pyrite, that's the lighter one. And then Sandstone is the one that's like my skin tone. That's the one I like to wear alone. So let's just take a look at this Dior product because I'm playing games. And this is supposed to be like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. That's what it looks like. And this is four. It's supposed to be medium with neutral undertones. And like I said, three, I put three away because I'm, I'm not going to use it. But see, I think that looks better for me. And then as the summer approaches, I think that that's going to be. Yeah, get your water bottle too. Yeah, see, that's going to be ideal. So let's just see how this looks on its own. I could always, I have my uh, Westman Atelier foundation stick. Yeah, I'll, see, I like this better. And I'm sorry I'm not taking out three to compare it just because if I end up selling it, I don't wanna like, you know, I don't wanna be wasting and using it and all that. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on almost like a foundation. I'm guessing you can rub this in with your fingers or your, um, you know, you can use your sponge. But it's gonna, we're gonna be looking greasy today probably. So if it's too much, I have my um, hourglass, va um, what is it, the ambient, whatever's left of it, <laughs> left of it. So yeah, this is like a glowy primer. I think it's supposed to help with some blurring. Uh, it's, it's lightweight. I feel like the one from Arc is heavier. I mean, if you use too much. This has a slight smell. The new, the new Dior products have a little like skincare smell situation it's not floral so i don't mind it i don't mind the floral stuff because to me it doesn't last so okay so yeah we look dewy real dewy so this might be too much for someone to wear on their own which i completely understand and i don't know how i'm gonna feel about it either because this is my first time first impression all right we're gonna go with the huda beauty peach pie i know dior has a, a i don't know if it's a finishing powder but they have this like powder unpowder and i think that is a finishing powder we're gonna go with peach pie i really don't mind this smell but i don't know if i really want a perfume in this hood of beauty situation all right so you can see how i think you can see how that kind of uh took down the shine just a little bit in this eye area but you can still see it let's let me put it like here not that we're testing out the peach pie yeah hey oh yes august got some rocks all right because it's i'm just letting you know it's, it's oh it's 60 i thought that said 708 i was like oh, girl what? This one shocking and driving it's a rose quartz that i found at i mean yeah we did not buy this. We just found it. We found it. Me and River found it. So yeah. Shout out to River. Yes. Can you brush your hair and teeth? Mm. I decided to do something. I want to do something else. I think this looks okay. So this is giving some coverage, right? Cause look, freckles are minimal. In the okay. One. 
There's another rose quartz. Mm -hmm. It's kind of more like lighter. If you can see that, it's kind of more lighter. Mm -hmm. All right, next one. Is this crystal? Oh, yeah, I want to hold that one. This is the Dior Forever Natural Bronze Glow. Okay, this is at Sephora and the concealer, obviously. But this natural bronze glow is not. This was at Selfridges. And I think it's on the U.S. websites now. And this is the shade, what is this? Peachy Bronze. It is limited edition. And this is the deepest shade. Ooh. I don't have one right now. Look how pretty that is. Yes. I'm going to swatch it. I'm sad. Because it's like supposed to be, oh, it's supposed to be uh, bronze, what? Blush, bronze, and highlight. Oh. Hold on now. I got to get. I don't Oh, I'm about to try it. I'm just gonna take. Remember my old, my old toothbrush, but you bought new ones. I'm going all around because I need some of that bronze. That was just. This just looks like a peach blush, kind of. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go back to the barber. In two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so I watched uh, Charlotte Holcroft use these, and she was like, "You only need one shade." Cause I don't think the pink looked different. Okay, I can work with this. So you just have to make sure you go all the way around. I'm just like tapping in like this. Now I've always heard that the Dior bronzers are nice, but I'm really trying to not buy bronzer because I have this product, I have other ones. All right, let me back up just to taste. Okay, so can y'all see it? It's, I was about to say it's real natural, but I think that's what it's called. Yeah, natural bronze glow. I want the pink one. I'm into that. Okay, that's a that's a yes. Right. A little old peach. So, the same. Yes. Huh? I'm not gonna put any blush on yet. This is a regular. This is a regular quartz. Yeah, yeah. Let's try these lipsticks out. We're gonna swatch them. These are both Satin Rouge Dior's, the new formula. I have 419 Bois Rose and 240 Jador. So I'm gonna swatch it real fast. No, it wasn't. It's the newer packaging. That one is, I think this is, yeah, 419 Bois Rose. Okay, that's pretty. Let's get a little swatchy. Mom, remember we did we put the egg in the vinegar? And yeah. Grandma, this is Jador. Ooh. I want to bring these to school. Yes, they're almost the same color. Well, look at this. I know this looks like an ordinary rock on the outside. But look on the inside. Bois Rose. That looks great. Look on the inside, guys. I, I hate to be a party pooper, but... <laughs> I can you go brush your teeth? I'm gonna go with your door because... Actually, I'm gonna go with this one. I have this lip pencil here. St. Lux. Mm, I might not be using that. That feels really dry. That's going in the empties. So oh, you getting all frazzled. I'm just trying to get you ready. Cause then at the end, he'll be like, you're really rushing me. I'm gonna go with uh, Jador only because I'm gonna take this Lisa Eldridge sorcery pencil and that just matches better. I'm doing the lip first so I can decide what I wanna do with my cheeks and eyes, which uh, with this timing, it's gonna be not, I have the nerve to say I was gonna record two videos this morning. How, Sway, how? And what happening? Update on the YSL Love Shine. It's super, uh, I don't think the formula feels thin, but the color pigment. I felt like my lips still looked ashy. I'm gonna have to wear a lip liner with that because I got melted honey. Because I love nude lips, but Lord, you know, I need, a, I need something for these pale lips. Like these lips are pale. So I'm gonna have to maybe do a liner, like fill in with liner, something like this, and then use it because I'm not gonna take it back. Now I did give my sister the um, Sunday, What's it called? Summer Fridays liner. I gave her that in Rosewood Nights because that tint made, I just felt like it made my lips look gray. I was very sad. Now this is only my second, I have a lot of Dior lipsticks a lot, but this is only my second satin. My favorite Dior satin is in this shade Saint Germain. Check it out if you're looking for a Dior satin lipstick. Don't just check it out for no reason. Okay, these have powdery, powdery smell. The same as, mm, same as the old uh, formula. I forgot what's different about this and I don't really care. 
as long as there's no harmful ingredients. Okay, next we are gonna look at, because now it's 7.06, I need to leave by like 7.20. Let's take a look at these Dior Forever Glow Maximizers. I do have three now. The initial two that I bought were Bronze and Rosy Glow. I know I'm late, but then I bought Peachy. I used Peachy yesterday, so I'm not gonna use that today, but I'm gonna swatch all three in case you did not see yesterday's video or you don't care to see it. So let's start with Peachy. I'm just gonna show it to you. Um, so there's Peachy. Now I told you Peachy really diffuses out. Are you, I mean, it's a little bit of a peach tint, but it's not, not really. Not on your skin. It's, it's gonna blend in. If you're like my shade or deeper, or, you know what, if you're deep, if you're like medium, it's not gonna show up the way you probably would like it to uh, because it really blends in. Now, Rosy Glow, I heard, compares to the Pillow Talk Sunset uh, Beauty Wand. So these are like Dior's versions of the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wands. So there's Rosy. And then we have Bronze. Now I saw one of my uh, friends on here, her name is Sonia Butler, and she used the bronze, almost like a bronzer, and used it all around the face. And I thought that looked really, really nice. I can link her video, but yeah, I thought that looked nice. So there's Bronze. Now you can build these up, you know, and to me, I, my experience is they've stayed pretty nice over the, the makeup. I. I feel like peachy is gonna be the best for what I'm doing or bronze. Let's just try a little bit of bronze. I really don't want it to be too deep though. So let's um, see, that's not, I don't know if that's what I was going for. So let me just uh, try this out. Cause this is. Now I'm sure if you use a little brush or something like that, um, you can do some things to keep the pigment there, but I don't want it to be too much. Let's do that one more time. August, I have to get ready to go, and I need you to put ice and fill in your water bottle. Okay, well, you're not going to have no water. I mean, August, please. It's important to have water. All right, so I don't. See, I don't know if I really want to put on blush. So I had, why well, I have this out? Cause I, I'm not doing that. So we might not have a blush today or maybe I'll put a little bit of something else on. I was trying to keep it to Dior, just trying. All right, we're ready for eyeshadow and I can't, it's 9709. So let me figure this out. This is cute though. Cause I, you know, I'm pale. I have primer about face. I feel like it held my eyeshadow pretty well yesterday, so we're gonna keep on going. And I have two Dior Quince, but based on the look that I'm doing, I, I think I know which one I'm gonna pick because this is kind of like reminding me of like the bronze goddess look. And I might be able to use my galactic blush, I might. But I mean, so far I like this, it's like a, um, it's not even, it could be a slightly sunburn look. This is Dior Riviera by Adir. And I'm thinking, oh, well, that's gonna be the one because I don't have anything else out. I had another one out, but I had a feeling just based on the lip shades, I didn't wanna go with the pink, uh, pinky uh, quint. So we're gonna go with this one. And this is gonna be super quick and easy. So I have my refer 27. And I am gonna start with this little, yeah, let's get this show on the road. This is just giving it a flush. You're not gonna see too much. You can see it a little bit. And it's a satin, so that's nice. And to be honest, like if you're, you know, a minimalist with eyeshadow, you could just put something like this on just to give you a little flush so it's not like so pale going into the shade. I can't believe I don't have work tomorrow. It's like a treat. Oh my gosh, I forgot what I was telling y'all about and I, now I'm about to get back to it. I went to take August to get the shot yesterday. So we got caught up shucking and driving because we were like, ooh, let's go to Five Below. This is after Sephora because there's a Five Below next door. And let's get everybody snacks for the Eclipse party, blah, blah, blah. So we did that. Next thing you know, it's like 1.30. So I'm like, okay, the allergist is right around the corner. We'll just get the shot. You only have to sit for a half hour. 
so we'll be out by two you know we'll be at my mom's by the start of it which i thought the start of it was 221 but it was 205 that the peak was 321. we get there they were like oh you have to sit for an hour because this is first one i'm like what then they called us back and i'm like we're about to miss this whole thing and i had the glasses and they were like, we have to let it warm up. And because they said you can just drop in to get the shots. Then they were like, oh, we need you to call 30 minutes before so we can let it warm up. I was like, we have to come back. So now I got to take him across town tomorrow, but that's okay. Because I was not missing the eclipse. Yes, going into this deeper shade. They don't have shade names. So I don't want you to think I was just skipping it. Now, hopefully Marky took his medicine because Marky be in there having a good old time. Yeah, mm-hmm, that's what I'm going for today. Simple. I know this is like really similar to yesterday, but yesterday was all mad, so no. <sighs> Just gonna take this brush here from Igsho, going into the brown transition shade for the under eye, and then I'll get to the lid. We're gonna use the gold, I think. Or we can use the pink, but I think I'm gonna use the gold so y'all can see it. If you wanna try to have a little a little fake duo chrome. <laughs> no, it's, it look in the pan. It looks like when, you know, it, it, do you, do you got a little, I know y'all can't really see it, but do you got a little fake duo chrome? That's cute. Oh, that's so cute. That was rude. I'm making fun. All right. I'm just putting a little shadow under there. You can't really see it. And that's okay. Cause it's not the point. All right. I'm going into the middle shade. I really like this gold. This one's a good one. You can do this with your finger too, this one. But this is a cute little gold. It's like a orangey gold, you know? Oh, when I went to Sephora, I got to smell all the Jackie Ina perfumes and I think they all smell good. So I think I'm gonna just get them in. I have two in the full size coming, but once the other two come, and I'll probably just return the discovery set because now what's the point? We're gonna go with Thick from Victoria Beckham. So that's all I have. I don't know where the uh, Coco liner is. Coco? Yeah, I don't have time to be uh, fooling around right now, actually. So we're just gonna go with Fig. And let me know, like, if you enjoyed this type of video versus, um, like, formal reviews let me know because i enjoy filming these better than formal reviews but i do maybe i could just try because i can't guarantee because you know my description box never well i don't want to say it never but sometimes i just have an issue getting all the important information in there because it's so much like the whole description box thing i try to prepare it ahead of time though but sometimes i forget to put important information but maybe i could just put the information in like shelf life and where it's made because I really just like playing in makeup. And when I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, I'm at a YouTube crossroads. So I don't know. Like, I just like playing. I don't, I don't know the claims about any of these products. And that's what took me so long to even, camera's rude. I don't know the claims about any of these products, which is what kind of took me so long to use them. Because I'm like, oh, I got to get this information. I was printing everything out and reading it. And, you know, I, the thing is, I, I know that's important, too. So I'm just trying to find a happy medium because I didn't get on here uh, planning to. Uh, I didn't have a topic of choice to talk about, but it's really therapeutic for me to kind of get things off my chest, I guess. Um, and it makes for good uh, conversations in the chat or maybe in your own head if you're not in the chat, you know? Let me know if you like this style of video because I like it. <laughs> Bless you. I feel like it's better than like getting on and saying, here's my haul and here's all the yeah. stuff I got. That's, I don't know. Oh, because we're about to leave, honey. I, I, well, today's Tuesday and I thought y'all were having Chick-fil-A. Mm. Oh, tag. I was supposed to try out this um, Dior Maximizer Lash Primer, but that ship has sailed. All right, I'm let that dry. You know, I should have put my setting spray on first. Okay, that's too much. That has a pretty nice mister, but not like this. This one, I can like actually keep my eyes open. <laughs> All right, it's 719. Got to get this, this party started. Oh yeah, y'all. Okay. I like this. 
All right, that's it. I'm going to finish styling my hair off camera. It's hard to tell. Let me know your thoughts about any of these products. If you're interested in them, I will list the products. I will definitely list them uh, because I didn't talk too, too much about the claims and what they're supposed to be able to do. I can say I really like how all of this looks. It's taking some ambient. I think it looks really nice, natural. The bronzer I thought was going to be too orange and it's not. I'm curious about how that one compares to the pink one. Like, I mean, I know it's going to just be like more pinky, but I wonder if it still has that orange tint because that bronzer leans a little like, I don't know, like red, but I like this and I, I like the little sunburnt look that it gives for the summertime. I think that looks great. So yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great about this look. So let me know your thoughts, I'm gonna fix my hair and I'm gonna get on out of here, get these boys to uh, school and me to work. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice, stay safe. And you know, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Go on, blah.